Hey, <laughs> Dax here. Uh, I've been posting videos on uh, YouTube, Facebook, and um, actually something pretty cool happened. I actually uh, I got a request. So uh, a friend of mine from North Dakota wanted to see what my man cave looked like. I had some videos talking about, uh, I think, line management and some uh, Northland and some panfish plastics that... Uh, I use in the winter <clears throat> but uh, he saw a part of my shelving and so he wanted to see the full man cave so what I'm gonna do today is I'm gonna walk you through the man cave uh, so I hope you enjoy it um, I keep everything nice and tidy so we'll just walk through here and I'll kind of talk about what we're looking at so right here when you enter we got my ice armor suits hanging on the wall right here his and hers, obviously. <laughs> got one for the wife and uh, one for myself. And my daughter's got one too. Hers is upstairs. So then we come over to the wall rack. We got um, a few St. Croix rods, um, Avids, uh, Legend Extremes, and some Legend tournaments in there. A couple of musky rods. So this is where all my rods are. I keep the tips nice and soft. So they don't get scraped and I got rod covers on there as well. <clears throat> and then I got extra reels here. Right here. Spinning reels. Extra heater. This is my crappie section right here. Just a little box. Gulp. Three crappie rods for the springtime. Um, stickers for truck. Four wheeler. Uh, whatever have you. Nine inch HDS Lorances. Two of those. These are my two combos right here for uh, white fishing. Um, this one's a schoolie rod. This one's a Shakespeare ice. Just some normal fray bill fly reels on there. Um, this is my favorite combo right here, rod and reel. It's a fray bill, uh, 27 inch click tip. You get them at Fleet Farm. Um, I've been using them for a long time. Super nice tips. Really good uh, bead indicator on end. Right there. And obviously I have a few of those. These are my fly reel combos for pan fishing. Um, Akuma fly reel. Thorn Brothers 24 inch sweetheart. And all of them have little spring bobber attached on the end. You just insert that in the eye. <clears throat> and then that's your strike indicator for those. Um, use those rods for geez, 10 years, maybe longer. And just I just love them. So um, turning around here, I got some extra inventory crod tubes and stuff like that, turkey blind, some extra rod, <clears throat> some extra holders, um, always make sure to clean your reels in the springtime, I just leave that down here just, to, just so I don't forget, and then we'll go down below, um, this is my musky box for when I fish in the fall, just in case, super awesome musky box, I mean, you know, you can stand on it, obviously it's see-through, the thing is absolutely bulletproof, so. <clears throat> going on to some extra bass stuff got some pro tour baits uh, swim baits buffalo bugs tubes mega bass minnows um, trick sticks those are four inch label everything so I know what I got here's some four inch here here's some five inch here um, there's some extra secrets I have right here um, those are my rod cases for ice fishing label those pan fish the bigger rods, eyes and perch. Um, <clears throat> some extra sluggos, big bite, power bait, uh, sweet beeves. Got some Kytex, some more craw tubes. These are all craw tubes right here. Uh, one of my favorites, Straight King Rage Tail, dynamite. I'm going to try these this year. It's the wild thing. Just another jig trailer. Um, got some tubes here. Northland Impulse. Uh, two and three quarter inch tube, deadly. Um, here's some get bit craw tube, get bit tubes. These are two and three quarter as well. I mean, just deadly. You, you can't really go wrong. Um, coming across, <clears throat> I have my box of fishing line. There's a ton of sea guar in there, and uh, I think some um, FC sniper as well. Um, super good line. I've been using it for a long time. These are just extra plastics boxes that I have in the boat. 
Um, this is my tools container. That's where all my tools are when I'm in the boat. Um, these are all my extra reels. Those are all my bait cast reels. Just keep those in there so the dust doesn't get on them. Uh, here's all my tackle boxes. I label everything, finesse all the way down. Drop shot, Ned, all the way down. These are extras, jigs, uh, jerk baits, and these are my waterproof tackle boxes. Uh, top water, jerk baits, anything with <clears throat> a lot of exposed hooks, I get the waterproof tackle boxes, so it's just a little extra protection. And then this is my um, collection of uh, Lucky Crafts. I'm on the uh, Lucky Craft Guide program. Super, super cool. We get some baits every year, every month to try. And um, I mean, what more can you ask for? I mean, you get baits, awesome company, and obviously they make a super, super good product. Caught a lot of bass, walleyes, um, smallmouth, northern pike, what have you on those. So um, those are my extras. I have the rest all in the uh, <coughs> tackle boxes. My two musky boxes right here. Nothing too crazy. There's some beasts. Um, those are pretty lethal. A uh, couple of huge swim jigs for musky fishing. Milwaukee clam drill plate combo, an extra hand auger. Colt snap outdoors cover, 8 inch K drill, solo 2.5. Charging system right here. Milwaukee batteries, the two Vexilars. Extra battery, extra panfish plastics, minnows. This is my Northland full tackle box. I mean, it's just plump full. Plump full. You can see all those. I think there's 84 in there. Just extras, extra stuff. Um, Frayville tip up lights. Just got extra stuff. Just nice and organized so I know where everything is. Um, middle bucket goggles for the four wheeler. <clears throat> I'm a bow hunter. There's my bow right there. This is where I keep all my gloves, hand warmers, gloves. Extras, headlamps, Aquaview Micro 2. Big fan of the AMS oil, the Saber oil for my uh, Weed Whip and my uh, my Solo 2.5, and then the Quick Shot, just a fuel stabilizer. Lights for when you fish at night. GoPro box. Still use the old Lowrance H2O. Had that for nine years. Works just great. Here's some of my bass fishing stuff. <clears throat> Here's some extensions for my augers. Got some old school Uncle Josh pork still. Always have a first aid kit in the boat. Game camera. Some old, old Rapples right there. Spark plugs. Extra cover. Wall of Fame. And then I got my old trusty. I got a dozen Beaver Dam tip ups. Um, I've never used a better tip up. And these are my, these are my uh, markers when I. Um, when I put a hole in the ice and set the beaver dam out there when there's a lot of snow, I just set one of these in there. And then you can mark it and then you can see it at night. You got the reflective tape right there. So pretty simple. Um, super cheap. I made, uh, I think, 12 or 14 of them and it cost me like six bucks. So um, Kyle, <coughs> Kyle from North Dakota, that's my, uh, my man cape. Um, I hope you liked it. Um, I enjoy doing it with you. I mean, I like being down here. My daughter's down here with me a lot. My wife's down here with me a lot. So this is where I spend a lot of my time getting ready for my fishing day or fishing night or my next trip. So with that being said, hopefully you get some comments. Um, certainly like it on Facebook, like it on YouTube, subscribe to the channel. I hope the stuff that I'm putting out there, um, the people enjoy. Hope the stuff I put out there, people are learning from. And if you have any other questions, comments, feel free. Dax is Dax Shagda on Facebook. Dax is Fishing Guide Service on Facebook. Uh, Dax Fishing Guide Service on YouTube. And then I have an Instagram page as well. So that was kind of cool. That was my first ever request. And he wanted to see the cave. And I think I showed him everything. Uh, the boat's obviously in the garage, so I'm not going to go out there. But um, yeah, comment on that, Kyle, or uh, whoever watches it. Uh, I like doing it, so... If you ever have any questions about anything I have related to fishing or hunting or whatever, and I have the answer for it, I'm certainly willing to help out. So, uh, we still got plenty of ice and snow in northwest Wisconsin, so we'll be ice fishing for a little while. Uh, headed to Devil's Lake in a few days, so I'm pretty excited about that. But, yes, yeah, definitely tune in, subscribe, 
on YouTube and uh, let me know what you think. I had fun doing it, like I said, and um, maybe I'll get some more um, requests in the future. Uh, until then, this is Dax here, Northwest Wisconsin, and uh, hopefully we'll see you on the water. Take care.